Hi guys and welcome back. It's Tuesday. I'm so glad first of all that you lot are happy that I chose to up the content to twice a week. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to waffle. I'm just going to get stuck right in. Um, I thought I would kick off by showing you what I have found recently for fall. All right, I am just going to get stuck right in and um, yeah. I'm All right, so first off, everything is on the bed. So I'm sort of looking this way. All right, I got this jacket. So I'm looking in the monitor. Look. Oh, oh God, look at this jacket I got. I found this gorgeous tweedy jacket, gray, like a herringbone. And I just thought, yes, it's a men's, it's a men's blazer. How gorgeous is this? And you know what I love the most? Leather covered buttons. Let me see, will it focus on the buttons? Look at that. Look at that, these are leather covered buttons. You just don't see that anymore. Who does leather covered buttons? Let me just show you this. It's obviously, like I said, it's a men's jacket. It is oversized, but I like the way this fits. It's like a sort of mensy, oversized look. And I like the idea of just doing the shoulders like that and just, oh, look at that. I am in love with this jacket. I just, I literally just found it on the weekend. So I'm just chuffed a bit. I would wear this right now when it's a cooler sort of summer evening with just like a pair of shorts. Like I've got on a pair of denim shorts at the moment. Let me show you. So if I was going out in the evening, I could just see me wearing it just like that because it's a bit chilly at night and you just put this on over it. By the way, 100% virgin wool. I checked the, um, the label in the back and that's what it said. So when I saw that, I thought, brilliant. This is gonna be so, so perfect for later on in the season as it gets colder because it's not just, looks good but it's actually really practical um, i went into a few high street stores that sell these kind of gray usually checked um patterned blazers and i couldn't find one that looked right on me or they were or they were sold out so i thought let me just go to one of my favorite vintage shops which is in the east village do you want me to do a, a video on my favorite vintage shops in New York, but I can do that for you. So let me know as well in the comments. So anyway, so I found this from one of my favorite vintage shops. I just think this is just so perfect. I just like the cut of it, like I said, oversized, just like it like this, just casual over a t-shirt. But later on, obviously you can put it on over your knits and I just think this is just spot on. It's pockets inside here, pockets inside here. Women's jackets and blazers don't do this, I've noticed. Only men get this benefit i don't know why i mean these glasses that i found from zara this is those cat eye glasses that have been quite sort of trending at the moment you know how i feel about glasses in general and how they just finish your outfit i just did a video what two weeks ago about how to style glasses um i'll link that up here so you can go and have a look and see all the different glasses that i have got now in my arsenal i've added these as well these are like i said cat eye glasses from zara really look at these but i find the trick is you need the glasses to sort of extend past your face shape and i just think they're great and i think it's a good value for the money it's cheap and cheerful i think they're like 20 dollars. so that's those then i got two more pairs one is these these are also cat eye glasses really like these look at the detail on the front you can see the frame it's got like this um how can i explain almost like this metal made lace effect going on i just plan on wearing these kind of glasses with um blazers with coats these are fantastic i love these the ones i just showed you with them um, like the lace effect on them and these the cat eye and these ones which to me look so chloe it's not even funny i found these um both from uh there's a shop called love day vintage i think it is i'll put all the information below they're also on instagram so i'll put their link and you can just send them a private message another accessory i'm going to show you is this top shop bag it's like a, a true wine red or cherry bucket bag i just think this is fantastic just put this just wear this i just oh you gotta get the full effect this is how i see wearing this this bag so you've got to do it like that and then you just see look, look how it looks with the gray <gasps> see how it looks with gray oh. then you just do that and you just, just wear just walk down the street oh wait got your glasses on look but oh 
Look at that. God, talk about feeling myself. No, but oh, and just imagine I'm wearing shorts, but imagine if this is jeans. Yeah, and you've got like, you've got your blazer on that you find in the men's department. And then you've got, oh, you've got your bag. Oh, the bucket bag. I think this is absolutely fantastic. It reminds me of much more expensive designer bags that I have seen that have this very clean, minimal, smooth shape, simple cylindrical structure, very minimal hardware, only a couple of details on the side. And it does come with a thin, a, um, a thin shoulder strap as well. So you can actually wear it here, like on your shoulder or cross body if you want. So I think this is such a good buy. I'm so glad when I saw it. And it comes with this, what do you call this? It's like an inner lining drawstring. So you don't have to worry because it's a mouth, isn't it? So it's always open. So this acts as the closure for all your goods. And it's black, so it just disappears and hides inside. And you can push it down. So all you see is just the red. And I just think this is just fantastic. I'm so, so glad that I found this. Look at me talking with my glasses on. I'm, so that. I'm going to show you next this. This gorgeous velvet shirt, button down shirt. Look at this blue. It's so dark, it's like a Prussian blue. Okay, so this is it on. Look, I'm just finishing tucking. God, this reminds me of Tom Ford Gucci days. They really, oh God, this is stunning, stunning. Anyway, I found this from Gap, but I didn't get it at Gap. That's the brand. Um, I found it at Beacon's Closet, which is a vintage slash consignment shop that I like to go to. I shop three ways, I shop Vintage, consignment, and thrift. I put that in one basket. I shop um, high street, so ASOS, H&M, Zara, you know, all those kind of shops. And then I shop, I wanna say this is more like, ooh, 5%, five to 10%, probably 5% really, designer. So my Stella McCartney shoes, I have a couple of Chanel bags, um, Gucci shoes as well. But those, so it's always accessories. But that's really how I shop. So I'm very much a magpie shopper, high and low. So when you watch my videos, that is who I am. I just go all over the place. I will shop from Bergdorf to Salvation Army. Obviously you can wear this with jeans. Wear this with jeans and a pair of boots and you are like golden. Um, and I just saw this as well. Oh my God, wait till you see, wait till you see this. Look at this, pleated, slightly metallic, pleated skirt again i found this in beacon's closet but it is zara and i think i remember when zara had this they also have this currently i think in like a metallic same sort of material and finish in a bottle green which is freaking absolutely gorgeous and i could so see it with this but this is a ruby another jewel tone so i could see it with this hang on i'm going to put it on for you okay I got it on. So this is it together. I love to mix materials, mixing the velvet here with, together with the metallic pleats here. I think this is great. And the dual tones again, so they work really well together. So this is the skirt. I'll go back a little bit more so you can see it. Oh, yes. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, so here's a quick idea of the full look. This is just a pair of um, Gucci metallic Mama and shoes, got these last year. So Queen Mumsy, love them to death. I mean, yeah, I'm wearing these kind of shoes, but it could easily have been a pair of just flat loafers. You could wear that as well with it, just to dress it down. But I love this. And then obviously later on, just wear it with boots. But yeah, I like, I like this. My head's chopped off. I know that. Bear with me. I will figure this all out over the coming weeks. This um, skirt is a size small, I believe. I think it's a small. If it's not, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, and I never get size smalls in pleated skirts. I've told you, size up, size up, size up. If I had the option, I would have probably gone up to the medium because I, I like things just to, especially skirts, I like them to just hang lower on the bottom of your leg because I like that kind of full look. It just And it just gives more movement to the um, skirt. But... You know, I quite like that this is, this is small, but I'm gonna make it work because I'm wearing it, as you can see, I have no choice. I have to wear it up here on my waist, but I like that look. I'm so happy about these two pieces. I'm just, oh, God, this looks so good. And you even button it all the way up. A jacket over it and just go, oh, let me put the, let me put the gray blazer. Oh God, it's always very work wear, isn't it now? But you know what will bring it down? Just wear a pair of jeans, yeah? 
So to me, this is too prissy for my lifestyle. So I'll just wear this with a pair of jeans and just bring the whole look down, which transitions nicely into next items that I have found. So I'm Okay, so the next item are jeans. I've been going absolutely mental over wide leg jeans and wide leg pants. It's just been my thing at the moment. Um, and I found two pairs of wide leg jeans that I am very happy with. One is a pair from Madewell that I mentioned to you in last week's video. Um, I got them, here they are. I really like these jeans. They're very snug here, but I kind of like that. They really sort of, they're like a corset. And I like this rinse on them, and then they just flare out. Let me see if I can get far back enough so you can see. Actually, let me just adjust the camera. So, oh, this is so good. <gasps> hold on, hold on. For this, I decided just to show you with a pair of heels. These are just a pair of Madewell uh, heels. Oh, so funny, these are Madewell. That was not planned at all. So I found a pair of boots that I imagine wearing like these wide legs with later on in the season. Um, and it's these ones, they are a pair of like a snakeskin uh, tall boot with a block heel. I like that look because the whole, your whole leg is covered. Very a bit closer. I got these last year from, oh, I think they're from Steve Madden. I'm probably going to go up to a 28. Um, but just for this video, I wanted you to see these are the jeans that I really do love and I will just be going up a size, I believe I will. Oh, they have a little bit of stretch to them as well. Okay, next up are these jeans I found from Zara. Love these. Again, it's slightly high-waisted, but not as much as the Madewells were, um, and they're a lighter wash, as you can see. They feel much more rigid. These have, I don't even, they, if they have stretch, it's very, very slight. Um, so it's a much more sort of rigid, traditional type of denim, which I actually prefer, to be honest with you. Not too, yeah, not too bad across the bum. That's the Zara's on me. Very happy with those. Again, these are wide leg, so they do have that slight flare out to them. And I'm just wearing them with a pair of loafers. These are top shop loafers. What else can I say about it? Yeah, I just think it's a good, it's a good all rounder. Also, I got this bag from Zara. This is not to everyone's taste, I know. It's basically a teddy bear in the form of a bag. It's very, very simple. It feels like, oh, it's the softest. You just want to sit there and just do, in fact, I know, I'll probably sit there on the tube when I'm going in the, you know, in and out of Manhattan. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this because it just feels so comfortable. Um, again, it reminds me of a more expensive designer that I've seen who has done uh, these kind of furry takes on bags, classic shape bags, but I like it. It's like a winterized version of the straw basket bag. I just, I just really like it. It's like one of those things, do you like it? You don't. But for me, I think it's a great color. I can imagine wearing this teaming really, really well with navies like I've got on now. Uh, different shades of chocolate browns as well with a splash of white, maybe a white t-shirt and you've got the jacket and you have this on with you. This is really great. So I'm really, really pleased about this. And you can have, wear it like in the bend of your arm or you can just obviously wear it handheld as well. I like it worn both ways. So yeah, so I was very, very pleased when I got this. And it's just really cute. It's very dinky. It's fun and it was inexpensive. But not too bad for, for what you're getting. I also picked up these from Zara. It's these statement yellow square oversized earrings. I love, oh God, these are so good. These are so bloody good. Look at these. Oh God. I love them with big hair when I wear big hair, but I really also like them just like this. I'm looking in the monitor just so I can see. And so yeah, they don't feel too, too heavy as well. They are sort of just, just about wearable. Oh God. Oh, God, look at these earrings. I feel like Carmen Miranda or something. Look at these, look, yeah. But I just like the idea of you lot having a blazer like this. Cause look, look how that gray looks with the yellow. Oh my God. And then just, oh, pull up the sleeves a little bit. Stop that. <laughs> I laugh at myself. You lot laugh at me, like how I carry on. I literally, I, I shock myself. But this, I just love this as a whole look. And just wear like a pair of like loafers or just something really flat. Um, but yeah, I love the contrast of wearing like a girly earring like this with contrasted with something very mannish. 
that combination is just so cool to me. So yeah, I love how this looks together. So I picked up these shoes from Zara. These are those slingbacks with that vamp sort of V-ish kind of cut at the front. These were like 59, I think. So it's basically $60 for them. Very, very inexpensive toe dip into slingbacks. But I thought these were a good bang for your buck and very, very simple, easy take into the slingback look. I got these in a size 42. As you know, my feet are absolutely massive. They need to have a crackled finish to them. Let me see if you can actually see that on camera. Yeah, it's coming up a little bit. Okay, so this is them on me. I used to wear kitten heels a lot in London and um, I just wore them to death. Um, but so this is like a nice update for me. And I thought that's a nice easy price point. I'm surprised, oh, these come in burgundy as well. So this is them on me, very, very simple. Um, yeah, I like them. I think it's just very, very easy, easy shoe to wear. Very, very easy class. It's a very classic sort of shoe, isn't it, really? Just teamed with the black. I think that's just a nice play. So you go, so you got those together and you just bung these on. That's very, very easy. It's a very simple look. Oh, so good. So yeah, so this is it. You can see, I love, yeah, I love this look together simple easy heel not too much going on not too flashy but it's walkable isn't it and for that price point i think it's i think it's pretty good i think zara did well on these and they're very comfortable they're really really comfortable these shoes so that's one thing i wanted to sort of mention to you I think it's a really good buy i think yeah i like these these are, these are great so that's the zara shoes i i I recommend them. Oh my God, I've got one more thing to show you. So let me just, let me just show you now. So just hang on. Another item I got are these wide leg pants and they're a very sort of silky material, very fluid, ultra high-waisted. They're like a dark navy. The brand is not in it, so I have no idea who they are. They have pockets I love. Oh God, I love, I love pockets on anything. It's um, a find that I got at Beacon's Closet again. Um, what else can I say about them? Yeah, just very easy and simple. I'd probably wear it similar to how you see it now. Just dress it down with a t-shirt, wear a pair of Converse's, like just flat shoes with them. Um, I'm styling with a pair of mango shoes. So these are the mango shoes. I found these last season. So I thought it'd be nice just to dress them up a bit with a pair of shoes like this. And they work really equally as well with just a simple pair of flats. In fact, I'm going to show you them with a pair of flats right now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I have these Robert Clergy slides as well. These are a pair of shoes that I love. Wear these to death. Very sort of mannish shoe. So yeah, I think that is everything. I don't think there's anything left. Those are the things that I've found so far for fall. So it's just like a bit of a haul. One of my first proper hauls really in a long, long, long time. Let me know if you like this idea. If you do, give it a thumbs up and um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more sort of haul-y type of videos. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, it was my birthday last week, Sunday. August 27th. Thank you of everyone on Instagram who told me happy birthday. It was very nice. Thank you. Um, and I also shared what I got up to on Sunday on my Instagram stories, which was quite hilarious. I was like on a boat ride. And I think I had way too much to drink. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? The whole point of me telling you that is that um, I treated myself to something as a gift and it's on its way. So when it gets here, I will do a video on that particular thing and until then um should i just tell you what it is no i'm not going to say what it is okay so that's it that is my lot i don't think there's anything else i need to say except um just subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i do two videos a week now friday and tuesdays so i have nothing else to say except uh, drum roll da, 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 da. i will see you on friday <laughs> Bye guys. Yeah. Oh, and then you could put those flipping glasses on. Oh my God, hold on, hold on. I want to just show you. <laughs> Take this bloody pill. So this is it together. Oh God, who's that calling me? I probably what not, would probably what, what not? I probably what not. And I thought this video was going, I was, I was blooper free until that moment.